Namaskar. Thank you for being here. Today, we now we can start with our planetary meditation. So Krishna Prema has some slides to share with us. And she will explain the remaining program. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Planetary Meditation. It's great to see you. I hope you all had a wonderful week. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, share my screen. Just give me a second. Okay, so like Sneha said, I'm just going to review this, the schedule for today. Um, if you came early, you would have um, seen our newcomer introduction video, a great video just to kind of review what we're going to be doing here and a little bit about the mantra meditation. Then we'll spend um, 10 to 15 minutes having a welcome. And then after that, we're going to have a kirtan, which is chanting meditation, followed by guided meditation. And then very excited to um, welcome Dada Rijananda today for our inspirational sharing. And then we'll have some open conversation at the end. So we've been talking about this the last uh, few, almost probably like the last two months, uh, about our free PLT community. So it is free platform. It's um, open to everyone. And uh, if you have been there, you'll have seen that we are actively uh, building a community. So this month, um, our topic is Yama and Yamas. And this week, we've been talking about Esteya. And Dada Rajananda is going to share more about that during the inspirational share. But during the week, we've had a couple questions posted. We had a short video on Wednesday, um, giving a brief kind of introduction to Esteya. And uh, again, it's been uh, great for all the people involved. And we're hoping to see more of you there over the next uh, several weeks. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about this free community at the end too. So Esteya, um, so like I said, it's the topic of the week not to take out others' belongings or to think about doing so. And now moving on to the kind of what we're, this new thing we're trying to do, we're going to do breakout rooms and we're gonna spend a little time um, sharing something exciting that happened during your week. It, there's nothing, uh, it doesn't have to be anything specific. Um, anything that brought you happiness or pers to your personal life, to your professional life or your social life. And you're going to have five minutes to share within the group. You'll get to choose um, by language. And then we just ask that each group try to um, select one leader. So when we come back to the main room, to the main group, we can just share uh, amongst ourselves kind of a brief uh, synopsis of what everybody experienced this week. So um, I think, Sneha, are you ready with the breakout rooms? Yes, I am. So today we have two Vietnamese group, one Spanish and two English. And I just forgot to uh, tell in the start that we have uh, Vietnamese interpretation, uh, which is uh, Lalita doing it. And we have Divesh for Spanish interpretation. So those who want, uh, the interpreters will be in the one of the group like Lalita and Sp in Spanish, Divesh will be there. So please feel free to get in the room and let us know if you need any help. Now I can open the rooms.
Subud, Namaskar. It will be wonderful if you uh, will join with Nami's uh, second group. So after the breakout room, you can just, uh, okay, he's there now. I always forget to 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 let everybody knows that if they need help to go to some room, we can just they can say and we can just manually move them to there. Actually, I did that. Yeah. Should we stop uh, pause the recording right now or not? Yeah. In 15 seconds, everyone will be in the room. Fantastic. Are we all back, Sneha? Okay, welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that few minutes of uh, excitement, Sherry. So I'm going to ask uh, if a couple of you that were selected as um, team leaders or as representatives of your room, if you would take just a, you know 30 seconds to a minute just to give us a little recap about what you talked about, what you shared. How about from one of the Vietnamese rooms? Or <laughs> so in our group, just uh, we. Uh, yeah, you, you know that in a recent day, uh, the um, uh, COVID, uh, uh, so pandemics, increase, the number of the patient is increased every day. Then we are now becoming more, more busy for more activities. And we take the market time and also some more activities to, uh, to, to make everybody feel more inspiration during this serious situation. Yeah. Thank you, that's, yeah, I hope you stay safe. That's, thank you for sharing. That's a wonderful way to, uh, to handle that, to manage that. Thank you. Can I have somebody um, from the Spanish room? That's possible. Solo comentamos que no habíamos tenido ninguna experiencia directa esta semana, ¿sí? pero comprendíamos la, la magnitud de la palabra, lo que implica el, en el aspecto de no, de no tomar eh, ni siquiera las ideas de otro, esencialmente, que eso es algo muy sutil, pero muy importante.
Yeah. <laughs> you need some translation. Yes. No, I, I didn't uh, catch everything, but she said that um, I, as far as I understood, there was nothing really like super special this week. And, but anyway, I, I didn't catch everything. Yeah. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Shandrika. <laughs> Can I have somebody from, um, I believe you had two English rooms? So, yes. Can I have somebody from the first English room or one of the English rooms? In our room, we didn't really choose somebody to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, oh, but if you can say something. Yeah. Uh, well, I came in halfway and as I remember in the end that Ranjit Ananda was saying that um, teaching with memes, memes, which is like a social, like a very new concept, which I only really learned this word within this year. And it's like, I guess, short slogans and, you know, quickie things that people say to help for people to remember and use in spiritual teachings and really realize that, yeah, some, sometimes it's just like short little messages, basically mantras. It's basically a mantra is being, we're being projected out to the world and we're using the word memes for that. So when I think about that, like, yeah, why not? We're doing it already, right? We, do, we hashtag them, we do everything with them. So that's like our little culture for today. And then the next part I came in and I was talking about how I taught a yoga class for the PLT. And then my little kid came in and was saying how he's so intuitive. Mom, there were angels and there are demons around. And when you, just when you touch the class, boom, poof, they're gone. I'm like, oh, that's cool. So, you know, two little things, simple things like that, that in this normal society of what we call modern world, they're really working. And these kids are being affected and the younger generation, they're really getting it. So I'm glad what we're doing here. Thank you, Barry. That was beautiful. Thank you. Uh, there was one more English room. Does somebody like to share from there? Sure, I can, I can share. Um, Great, so it's Phyllis you. and I. And um, Phyllis mentioned that um, you know, she recently start, restarted a job with State Farm and that she's encountered some people that she hasn't um, talked to in a couple of years. So um, that, was that was really nice to be able to reconnect with, uh, reconnect with, the, with those folks. And um, from my standpoint, uh, I've been talking to a particular company and uh, informally, and I have a formal interview scheduled for next week for a job. So, um, I'm hopeful and optimistic that uh, stars will line up in the universe. Uh, so that's it from, from uh, the second English group. Thank you, Philip. That's wonderful to hear about that, Philip, with your job interview. <clears throat> all right. Well, thank you guys all for um, sharing, and I hope you enjoyed uh, just kind of connecting with each other. So moving forward, we are going to follow next with uh, some kirtan, so chanting meditation, followed by silent meditation, and then uh, a special moment with Dada Rajananda, and then hopefully we'll have some more time to do a little more um, work together in groups. And uh, so enjoy the uh, meditation. Bhavana Kevala Bhavana Kevala Bhavana Kevala Babana Kevala Babana Babana Kevala Babana Kevala Babana Babana Kevala Babana Kevala Babana Kevala Babana Kevala Babana Kevala Babana Kevala Babana Babana Kevala Babana Give up, 
Keep your eyes closed. Remember to sit straight and breathe through your nose. Let the mantra Bhavanam Kevalam continue in your mind as though you are listening to it. Feel that you are watching your thoughts and hearing the mantra and the music as it plays on in your mind. Then begin to feel that this mantra and the music is like a voice coming from within you, as though your inner self were singing to you. And feel that this music and the mantra is drawing your attention inward, is leading you to this inner place where the feeling of love comes from. You're connecting to that feeling of love within yourself. And as you come to that place, where you where, where love is generated notice how it has no limit it has no boundary you're in this place of limitless love the mantra is continuing in your mind with the music if your mind wanders at any moment don't worry that's quite natural when you notice that just bring your attention back to the mantra and the music and we'll meditate in silence like this now
tiếp còn với từ này là như là các bạn hoa biết được từ nào với cậu đây tại vì nhớ hết
Just keep your eyes closed for a moment so you can notice how you feel. And then when you want, you can take a deep breath and open your eyes. Namaskar. So I would like to invite Dada Ranjita Nanda to share to this inspirational sharing. Namaskar, everybody. Today, I will talk a little bit about Asteya. The meaning, because a Sanskrit word is always difficult to translate exactly in English, but people use the word non-stealing. So Asteya means non-stealing. We are not taking anything from anyone. But it can be a little bit uh, deeper because asteya is one point of yama. You know, we have yama and niyama, which are five practices of yama and five of niyama. They help to balance our conscious mind. So yama is something that is psychophysical means it comes from the mind and it expresses in the world. So it's psychophysical. And we say it's a psychophysical emanation because it's emanating from the mind. It comes from the mind and it expresses in the world. So every action that we do, they start, these actions start in the mind. After that initial mental aspect, it expresses or it manifests in the physical world. So Asteya, if we want to really to be established in the Asteya, we have to give up the desire of acquiring what is not rightly one's own. It means we give up the desire in the mind, then the question of it coming in the world does not happen. And uh, in general, let's say I'm talking to you here, you are, we are 29 people, I would assume or I would think that everyone present here is following Asteya or at least making an effort to follow Asteya. We are not taking things from others. We are not stealing from others in our daily life. So I would assume that. But. Uh, we know and we observe that this is not really what's happening in the world. People are taking things from others. And um, so I want to ask you a quick question here. You can answer in the chat window. What percentage of people in the world follow us there in your opinion or it be as what percentage of people are not stealing or don't want to steal or are not uh, let, taking things from others without their permission so can you think of a number of a percentage that you think how many people in the world follow the Asteya? Okay, I have some numbers coming. Somebody said 75% of people do it. Some said 50%, 80%, under 50. 
Uh, it is uh, a good question. Uh, 50% consciously try not to steal. Okay, so you, we are quite optimist. We think that 50%, all right. Okay, so let me just make some assumptions. You know, many people steal because they see some other people have a lot and they don't have, so they steal. Some people steal because it's a habit. Some people out of necessity, they don't have any job, any money, they have to steal. And uh, let's look at a general view of the world, okay? I put this uh, image there. This is the total wealth of the world divided by country. And as you can see, the US has 30% of the wealth of the world. China has 18%, Japan 7%, and you can see Europe is the green one, Asia the blue one. Africa is here, is uh, that, that uh, I'd say this little thing here is Africa. And um, Latin America and Caribbean is here is very little also. So this, uh, I, I put this just to see that the wealth of the world, let's say we have our planet and how we distribute the wealth. Some places we are keeping a lot of wealth, other places not. Is that uh, acceptable? Is that how it should be? Is that according to Astea? These are questions that we need to ask, are, let's say, are the rich countries stealing from the poor ones or is something else happening? Or if we look, for example, in, um, maybe they are not directly stealing, but maybe they are preventing them to get more to get what they really need. And as I mentioned, things start in the mind, then they manifest in the world. So what is manifested in the world today is this. So this is in the mind that, con the mind that is, let's say, dominating the planet is creating this situation. So is this mind working in the right way, or these minds, these many minds. Right. So that I just leave this as a question so we can think deeper about Astea. And I just want to put a point here. How would the world be if people were established in Astea? Let's say there is a family and you have the parents and the kids, the parents, being the most capable, most responsible, they make sure every kid has what they need. Parents will not take more for themselves just because they have that capacity. They will distribute everything in the best way possible. That is really the spirit here. All right. So I leave you with this question. And I just want to make a point about yama and yama. These are just us making an effort to follow yama and yama, to apply it in our lives, and also see that other people are inspired to do the same. Only this can change the world. These are basic practices for a planetary leader. We need to be established in Yama Yama. There are many people who are leaders in the world and maybe one day they were idealists. They thought that they would do something great for the world, but then they enter in a certain system and they fall for that system because they are not really established in Yama and Yama. Okay, so that is what I wanted to share with you today.
and I'm open for questions or any comments. If anyone has questions or you can use the chat or you can open your mic. So Bode wrote, Astea is also applied to country leaders and businesses. Yeah, yeah, that's that's it. Because, you know, apparently they may not be taking what belongs to others. But as I mentioned to you, things start in the mind and then they manifest in the world. And in the world, we see people who have a lot and people who don't have. And uh, so that is in the mind and it's manifesting in the world. And is that how things should be? That some people should have a lot and some should not have. We need to think deeply about that. And, and that's a consequence of the system we live in. The system is made in this way that it creates that situation. We need a, some repair in the system, maybe a new system that results in something different. All right. You know, there are many people in jail because they stole something from other people. Maybe they stole something that is not very valuable or or maybe they stole because of necessity, because they needed to and they are in jail. But there are people who, they don't steal a little bit, they steal like vast am amounts of wealth from the world and they are portrayed as good people. But good questions. Oh, yeah. Lita, yeah, go ahead, Dada. As Lalita mentioned here, Astea is actually a difficult point, you know, because it's not only, I mean, as every point of Yama starts in the mind, expresses in the world. So if you are seeing things in the world that are against the points of Yama, then you realize that most people are not following it. You know? It's because it's not only an actual action, but in the thinking also, yes. Do not steal the right that should belong to one person. I felt that it's difficult to practice in the corporate world because the corporate world is following <clears throat> a certain system, which is capitalism, and capitalism is about accumulating. So you, you accumulate, and you don't think that because you are accumulating, it, that is not enough for somebody else. But that's the consequence, you know. And to, so we, we, we talk about another system which is called Prout. So the, in the Prout system, the way to distribute the wealth is different. So if that system becomes more prevalent means it comes out more than capitalism, the world starts changing. There were attempts like communism was an attempt to distribute the wealth in a certain way, but there were some flaws in the system, it didn't work. So that's why we need to look what system can work and then how that system can be encouraged and used more than another system. Yeah, also regarding animals, we take, uh, the, we take the living space of animals. It's also taking something from them without their permission. So many things are happening, which is not just me going there with a gun and saying, give me your money. In the, it's happening in many other ways. All right, I think I'm done for now.
Thank you, Dada. That was really important. I think as a uh, planetary leaders in training, I know specifically for myself, I wrote in the community about we have um, a chat of water being stolen and diverted by large corporations and um, here on the island. And, you know, we're being asked to, res to not use water and not to water our agriculture farms. But then we have large hotels <laughs> using water frivolously. And, and there's actually physical diversion, diverting going on. So yeah, as a planetary leader, it's, it's good to hear what your words, because I know for me, I want to be able to bring forth change. And so by practicing it within my own mind and then being able to apply it large on a larger scale, I hope to continue that path and learn from everyone and you. And, and uh, so I appreciate your words today. Thank you. Yeah, um, I didn't mention about the community, but it's good if more people join uh, in participating in the discussions and so it is more active. So those of you who are already registered or not registered yet, and you are not participating, come put some time there it's because it generates some energy also when there is interconnection and exchange of ideas. So I'm going to share my screen again. So as we uh, start to get close to the end here and talking about the community. Um, so next week um, coming up, we'll be, we'll be talking about Brahmacharya, um, staying connected with the universal entity. Um, so Brahma. So that'll be the topic of next week. And uh, so again, like Dada said, we really hope that you'll join us. And that's what we were talking about, our free PLT community. It is free. It's very easy to join. And uh, the link, I believe uh, Ishita shared it a few times and I imagine she'll share it again. And uh, it's just, it's a really great place to, uh, to, to share our ideas, to grow. And like I said, I'm learning a lot. Um, it's great. I've been having a great conversations, especially with some like Philip and Phyllis and Chandrika and Shiva have been very active on there. So we really appreciate all their input and hearing and their insight. So we hope that you'll join us. And also by joining the community, you also have access to planetary yoga, which we've started. And it's been, um, I've joined a couple of the classes and we have it in Spanish, we have it in Portuguese. And we have two classes in English and it's completely free. It's open to everyone. Um, so really hope we'll see more of you there. It's a good way to uh, continue your practice or, you know, as we prepare our physical bodies. And then also I have some exciting news and less about, I don't have a screen to share for this, but this, uh, this next a week from Sunday, August 29th, we are going to have a live workshop. So the live workshop will be called Taming the Wild Obstacles and How to Redirect Your Energy. And Dada Rijananda will be uh, teaching the workshop. It's going to be at 1430 on Sunday for uh, 90 minutes. And uh, I think it's going to be very exciting because I think we're all facing a lot of obstacles and problems right now, just in, in the larger world, but also in our personal lives. So how to make obstacles our friends. I think uh, we all could uh, gain something from that and learn something from that. And to join that workshop, all you need to do is join our free PLT community and uh, come join us a week from Sunday. So we will have a little more information about that out in the um, next, uh, next couple of days. And so we hope to see you there. There's something in the chat. Oh, yes, Barvi was saying, how about a Vietnamese yoga class? That would be great. Yeah, we'd love to have anybody that would love to teach a class in Vietnamese. We love that. It's just great having the different languages, um, a lot of great energy. Uh, so, yeah, that'd be great to expand it. And on that note, I believe um, Sneha is going to launch the poll. So we get some feedback from you guys because we're always trying to improve and we want to hear from you so if you'll take a minute or two and fill out the feedback poll that would be fantastic
Well, thank you everyone for coming to Planetary Meditation. We appreciate all of you guys being here. We wish you a wonderful week and please share the message, invite everyone, um, your friends, family, and anyone to join us here so we can continue to grow our community and share this positive energy. And again, wish you a wonderful week. Stay safe and we'll see you next week or hopefully we'll see you in the community this week. Thank you.